All right, bro, so this is what it looks like. I've mounted it, pretty easy process. There you see the clamp, you see the bar. One, two, three, jump! What's happening? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and more importantly welcome back to a very helpful very useful DJ tips and tricks video today We're gonna be talking about customizing your trussing yeah buddy and more specifically we're gonna be talking about how to customize your trussing using these bad boys the adj power bar i have three two of them are the same this is the power bar link and they also have the power bar 65 biggest difference between the power bar link and the power bar 65 is that the 65 has these inputs that you see right there these inputs are there so that you can plug in your hard drive you can plug up to four hard drives and then go right out of here into your computer and it gives you uh, kind of like a dock kind of like a station a workstation and it also has this little groove here so that you can place an iPad if you want or something like that these are also powered by power connectors now the power bar 65 does not have a link function the link on the other hand does have a link option so you can link multiple of these together and what these basically are is are basically you know outlets so what I use this one for is actually just for my DJ equipment so I actually put this right next to my console now I don't typically use this to run my hard drives because I keep all my music inside of my actual computer so what I use this for is to plug in my microphones my computer my console ton of outlets and of course sometimes I plug in my camera batteries because I'm always vlogging my events cool thing about this that even if you don't want to use these for hard drives you can still use them as your cell phone or iPad charger whatever it is as many of you guys know I use an iPad to run DMX I use the Airstream DMX so I have one of these going into an iPad so that the iPad never dies in the middle of an event Event. and I have the other one for charging my phone because I'm a social media whore now I already unboxed the power bar 65 the other day because it's really useful so that's kind of the reason why I didn't show you guys the unboxing of this so I have two these are heavy duty so I'm just gonna throw that one off to the side pretty self-explanatory you have a box I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use a splitter I don't really want to go into too much detail you have your power con connector I want to say as many of you guys know I'm four feet 10 inches till about my torso so that's about uh three feet moving on we have the actual bar itself cool six total outlets the groove to put you know cell phone ipad whatever you want and of course you have your power con connector here Ooh. and you have the link right here on the bottom so you can link multiple of these together using a power con to power con uh, i don't have one of those so what we're going to be doing is attaching these to our trusses and basically leaving it forever so that our trusses are always pre-wired pre-powered and when we show up to an event we can get in and out nice and fast and we're gonna be doing this by using this little mount right here root thingy majig we're gonna be putting a clamp on here and then we're gonna be clamping it in here so uh let's do this first off I just want to answer some questions that I know I'm gonna get on this video I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask me what size trussing do I use these are two meter trussing I think that's 6.5 feet or something like that and uh, these bags right here that the trusses are in are actually global trust America bags and I'll leave links to all this stuff down below also some things that we are going to be using in this video I went out to the dollar store got some electrical tape pair of scissors and some zip ties to make sure everything is nice and tidy i also went out and bought a bunch of these clamps on amazon i'll link them down below if you guys want to check them out got a pretty good deal i think i paid like 20 bucks or something like that so let's do this let's take our trusses out and wire these bad boys up 
So the main goal of this video is kind of to speed up my setup and my breakdown. And one of the ways that I speed up the setup portion of it is by pre-labeling my truck. Sometimes we use the TVs, you guys have seen my TV setup. What I've done is I've taken my label maker and I've used it to make this TV line sign label. So whenever I use TVs, I know that the clamps are gonna have to go somewhere right here. Cause I hate trial and error. Sometimes we used to put the TVs way too high and they would actually cover our intelligent lighting. So we had to bring it down to the right level and we found that right about here is the perfect line for TV. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I'm gonna take my clamp, take all this stuff off, and then I'm gonna take my power link and I'm just gonna mount it to this bolt socket. All right, I think that's it right there. So, like I showed you guys, I have my TV line up here and I wanna go just underneath that, but I wanna go opposite of it. So I'm gonna mount it right around here. So we're gonna slide it inside, clamp it down. All right, bro, so this is what it looks like. I've mounted it, pretty easy process. Now there is a little issue that's kind of concerning me and it's this bolt that's sticking out. This might be a bit damaging to the scrim, so just be aware of that. Uh, I don't really know how to fix it. Maybe if I put like a top or something on this, I guess I'll figure that out later. So just keep that in mind. So I guess I'll have to be careful with that. Now aside from that, there's no other real issues. This isn't going anywhere. As you guys can see, I'm putting a lot of weight down on it. The only thing that I might consider doing is I might consider going to Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that and getting some outlet covers, you know, the ones for like children so that they don't electrocute themselves and just put them on here for transport. So aside from that, what I'm thinking about doing is pre-wiring uh, everything else. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power con that came with my actual power because I have a better power con. I bought a really, really long power con. It's like 15 feet. And that'll be the one that's gonna provide power to this. And this will provide power to my lighting. So I'm gonna go get my lighting now and I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so my little project, my little experiment is complete. It's come to life, and I think you guys are gonna like what the finished product looks like. So, check it out. We have our ADJ Focus spot right there. This is the power con that came with this bar right here. And I've also gone ahead and used a DMX cable right here and shot it down through this little hole. This is always going to remain on there. I've since stopped taking this off. I just keep the top base plate on. Uh, I don't keep the bottom base plate because it would be too uncomfortable to move. So I've then gone ahead and cleaned it up a little bit with some zip tie, zip tie there, zip tie there, and zip tie there. I ran my DMX cable right here and I just used a little Velcro tie to tie it on here. That's always gonna remain in here. If you really wanna get creative, what you can do is you can actually mount your PAR down here forever so that it's always ready to rock and roll. Now, I don't want to do that just yet because what I want to do is I want to get a part that has Wi-Fi built in so that way I don't even need to run DMX. I'll just get the Wi-Fi part installed in here, come out of here and up to there, power it by here and then I'll be good to go. But for now, we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way and just shove a par in there whenever we get to the venue. But this definitely speeds up my time. Now what I have to do is do the same for this one right here and we'll be good to go, folks. What do you guys think, huh, 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 huh? Great idea or what? Okay, so here we have the two trusses side by side. Uh, they're exactly the same. The only thing is the DMX signal that I left on top. 
So this is actually my right truss right there. You see the right and the right one is usually where my DMX chain usually starts. So I usually come out of my Airstream DMX, which I've also decided to mount. Although I don't think I'm going to be keeping the Airstream on here because these antennas are very flimsy. I've already broken one of these before in the past, but I digress. I'm going to come out of here until there and then the rest is all the same. We have our power bar right here and we're going up, 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 up. And instead of going DMX in, we're actually using DMX out and it's right here as well. So we have DMX out, DMX in, and that pretty much does it. Now when I get to the venues, all I'll do is I'll grab one of these, my 15 foot cord, plug it in, and I have all that slack to work with to plug it into a wall and that's pretty much it if you have any questions whatsoever about the adj power bar link or any of my equipment any questions comments or concerns be sure to leave them down in those comments below thank you bro so much for watching this video if you liked it please be sure to hit that like button subscribe share with a friend share with your favorite facebook group share with everybody in the world so that we can hit 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year uh, i doubt that'll happen but if we can that'll be awesome and if you really want to help me out don't forget to turn on that bell so that you can be notified the next time i do another one of these dj tips video a lot of them coming up uh in the future i think i want to start doing more videos videos more uploads soon because I do want to hit that 50k threshold so uh, a lot of videos are going to be coming your way soon so uh, if you want to motivate me you got to subscribe <laughs> all right bros peace Bye.